obviously this this question will be for after, but how do you think Eloise is gonna react when she finds out that Lady Whistledown was her best friend the whole time? She's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Really oh, no, stressing me out. Right? It stresses me out so badly. I'm like, she's lying to her best friend and she lets her go on this real... I'm so stressed out by it. But honestly. also, like, she loves her best mate so much. But also, she's, like, properly in awe of Lady Whistledown. She loves... She's, in, like, in love with Lady Whistledown. She wants to find her. That's... I feel like the reason her quest seems so strong is because she's almost looking for a way out. And Lady Whistledown is an example of that, of that autonomy, mm -hmm. earning her own money, being a badass. Like, do you know what I mean? Outing people. Like that's Eloise's like cup of tea, and then she's gonna find out the <laughs> best mate she's been knocking about with for years. Carnage. <laughs> yeah, I'm very stressed by the whole, the whole thing. Of it. <laughs> I mean, do you guys know much about the future of the show and like how that might play out of how how she might learn the truth? We're just I hoping. Mean, we're just, just we yeah, we're hoping to get a second series, and because there's eight books that are the foundation of this world, we know that there's so many more sp stories to tell, and we've both read you know far ahead of what season one is based on. So you think, oh, I really want to get the chance to do that. And I really want to, and also what's interesting about the books is that the protagonists change each year. So season two, should it happen, I assume would be Anthony Bridgerton's story. And I would love to see how that changes the show and the whole dynamic and, but yeah, we've just scratched the surface of Bridgerton. I feel like there's way more bubbling underneath. Mm.